I'm Dr. Julie Schell from Bow Bottom Veterinary Hospital and today I will explain how to trim a dog's nails. And this is little Charlie and he's really good with it. It's good to always practice and it's important to kind of make it a positive reinforcement thing. So always let the dog smell the claw trimmer, let them know what they're getting into and you can also touch the tr claw trimmer to their foot a few times and positively reinforce them. And Han's doing a great job with giving a petting. You can also give a lot of cookies and treats to distract them as well. So it's a little bit tricky with black um, nailed dogs and so what I do is I trim just a small amount at a time. And my favorite kind of nail trimmers are these. They're a very strong one and they last a long time. And we have them here at our hospital and we can show you how to use them personally. But I'll show you. You basically take the claw and just trim a minor amount at a time. Good boy! And then you kind of look to see where you are at. When you get to a really close trim, that's really close to the quick, which is the bleeding part of the nail, you'll actually start seeing a bullseye appearance. And that means that you're very close to the quick and you don't want to go much further than that. So we're just doing a little trim at a time. And so right now I'm actually starting to see a little black dot right in the center of the nail. And that's when I know it's going to be finished and I don't need to trim anymore. The other good rule of thumb is, is that when the dog puts his paw down, he should be able to touch the floor without making that clicking sound. So you should not hear any claw click when the dog's walking. It should be nice and silent. And the other thing with Charlie that we like to do is trim the fur beside his claws because if that is too long, they can slip out. And they can, it's kind of like walking with socks on a really slippery floor. You can slip out and slide. So the dog needs to have good traction with the nice pads of his feet. And so I literally trim up the fur around um, his claws to prevent him from sliding. And so I'm just going to go and try another nail. And now that you've done the first one, you kind of know how far back to go for the second one. And so that's a good amount. And you can use different angles. I kind of like to go um, one vertical clip and one kind of like angled clip because then it helps keep the claws from coming back so quickly. So it's good to do one vertical clip and one a little bit on the angle um, to, to get the claw to, um, to extend farther back when you trim it. And he's being such a good dog. He's had a lot of good training with his owners and uh, they do a great job with practice every day. Um, positive reinforcement. And this is the very difficult claw. It's the dew claw. It's basically the first digit and it's curled like a macaroni noodle. And so it's really difficult. Sometimes I get in there with a different type of nail trimmer. This is uh, notoriously known for cat nail trims, but you can use it for dogs as well. And so it just lets me get the proper angle. Good boy, Charlie. Oh, and if he gets too scared, you just want to kind of back off and, and let him chill out for a bit. And then you want to go back in there because he has to learn. He needs to get done for his own health. Hey, little baby. Hey. Yeah. And you can go on to a different nail if he's really being nervous like he was. The hind claws are, are a little bit thicker usually, and in Charlie they're also black, so you just want to do the same method. You want to just trim a little bit and then see where you're going. And then you can trim again once you kind of know the angle. And with Charlie, it's good to do just a few at a time, and um, if he gets too nervous and stressed out, you can always come back at a later date. Oh so sometimes it takes like maybe four days because you do one paw at a time. Good boy, oh Charlie. So we can go back and sometimes I'm pushing their leg back instead of forward is good. It's always important to keep the leg in alignment with the body. Like you never want to hold the leg out to the side because that can be injurious to their joints and ligaments. So you can just kind of trim backwards and get a little bit more of a closer trim. See, he's forgiving. Good he forgives boy. us. Good boy, Charlie. Now, if you accidentally do trim it too short and it bleeds, then what you use is cornstarch or flour or sugar. Salt can be a little bit irritating. It's like adding salt to a wound can be painful, so we don't usually use salt. But for um, Charlie, if we ever accidentally trimmed too short, then what you do is you put some cornstarch on it. It's good to do this ahead of time just in case so that you're not rushing to the cupboard to try to find your cornstarch. And you basically um, hold up the bleeding claw and apply the cornstarch right to the paw and kind of squeeze it a little and just keep distracting them. Rubbing the inside of the eyes, it's called yin tang. It's basically a really nice acupressure point and it helps relax them. Same thing with the base of the ears, it helps relax them. And so usually if you hold that without peeking for a good three to five minutes, the bleeding will stop and it will be good. If you get their body um, calmed and no longer stressed out, then they won't be likely to bleed as much because their blood pressure will be lower. 
So yeah, so definitely um, it works for cats as well. It's good to start training a cat at a young age and same thing with a puppy. And for cats, we usually just use the cat nail trimmers and again for dogs, we use the dog nail trimmers. And if you have any questions, definitely give us a call or come on by and we can give you a proper demonstration. And our number is 403-278-1984 and our website has more information as well and it's www.bowbottomvet.com. Thank you very much.